Hello, I'm Ant Joblin and welcome to Pink Diamond, the show that digs deep into the pink sheet and small cap markets to find diamonds in the rough. Today, we're taking a look at a mining firm that has gotten a lot of attention online from institutional investors over the past two weeks. New Jersey Mining is involved in the exploration and development of gold, silver and base metal properties, primarily in the United States. The firm is surprisingly and primarily based in the Coeur d'Alene Mining District of Northern Idaho. The firm's market cap sits at $34 million with annual revenue of $6.1 million and net income of minus $610,000. It's been a busy few months for the firm, which no doubt has excited investors. On July 7th, the firm announced that it had expanded its strategic land holdings to include the Roberts Rare Earth Element Project in Lemhi County, Idaho. This comprises 12 unpatented mining claims covering an area of approximately 89 hectares. It is located within the Mineral Hill Mining District, approximately 48 kilometers northwest of the town of Salmon. Idaho. Recent sampling by company geologists returned grades in excess of 12% combined rare earths elements. Furthermore, heading back a couple of weeks prior to that, the firm announced the strategic expansion of its land holdings to include the Diamond Creek Rare Earth Element deposit in Lemhi County, Idaho. This project covers approximately 421 hectares and consists of 52 unpainted mining claims. It is located in the Eureka Mining District, approximately 13 kilometers north northwest of the town Salmon, Idaho. The REE bearing veins of the Diamond Creek area are on the short list of the well recognized and studied occurrences in the United States. 1979, M. H. Stark of the U.S. Geological Survey estimated an overall probable resource at Diamond Creek of approximately 70,800 metric tons of total rare earth oxides, using an average grade of 1.22%. Reported sample assays show REE oxide contents ranging from 0.59 to 5.51%. Additionally, three samples cut across one of the larger veins were assayed for gold and contained 0.5, 2.4 and 11.9 grams per ton. Looking at the technicals, we can see that the stock is trading at a nine-year high. The stock is currently trading just below the $0.30 handle and if able to break higher at the round number, might see some resistance around $0.35. With such a big gap since the stock traded at these levels, there may not be much in the way if upcoming exploration proves fruitful. Currently, the 50-day moving average is tracking price higher and sitting above the 200-day moving average, which momentum flirts with overbought territory. As always, make sure you conduct your own thorough due diligence before making any investment decisions. We'll see you next week.